guys, Aaron here from Wild Science bringing you another episode of our YouTube series on tips, tricks, and tutorials for a graphic design and sign setup. All right, so I got a quick tip for you for uh, those of you who use Illustrator. Um, you know, if you use Illustrator a lot, you probably know that there's not as many options for changing, you know, uh, image effects like saturation and stuff like that. Uh, not near as much as in uh, Photoshop, but uh, a lot of times you'll be working with like a background image of some sort, uh, either grunge or see this is just kind of like uh, like a metallic, a blue metal kind of shape with holes in it. Anyways, it's blue, but say you want it to be another color, um, what's the easiest way to do that? Well, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do that, and this works with any background. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make uh, a solid fill the same size as the image. So uh, I'm gonna pop this up and I'm, I'm gonna make this, say we want this a red, I'm gonna make this a bright red and I'm gonna take this uh, square and I'm gonna center it and I'm gonna bring it to the background. So I'm gonna bring it behind my background that I wanna change. And then I'm gonna click on the layer that I wanna change, which is the blue uh, metal here. And then I'm gonna come down here uh, to opacity and then I'm gonna click where it says normal it's the blending mode is really it's on normal but it's the blending mode and we're gonna come all the way to the bottom to luminosity boom and you can see that the background layer or the background that we're changing is now inheriting uh, the red tone it's basically making this image grayscale and it's inheriting the red from the image behind it if I remove that red it's gonna go back to blue so uh, now what you can do is you can actually lock your background layer and then you can come down to your layer with the, the just a solid color and you can change that and then you can kind of get an idea for uh, what's happening and and check out different colors you know and so say you like the red but you're like oh it's too bright we'll just take your red and uh, make it a darker red and it's gonna darken the whole image so it's a really easy way and uh, a non-destructive way to change the color of a background, like a grungy background or whatever, you know, that you want to change. Obviously, it wouldn't work well for pictures unless you wanted the picture to be one hue, um, but for backgrounds, it works great. So uh, I'll show you another one here. Let's take this one right here so you can see. This is sort of like a foggy red, but say we wanted that to be blue. I could take this and make this a, let's make it green actually. So I'll make this a green and I'll add my layer and you can see I already have luminosity on and boom, now it's green. And it looks really nice. It doesn't uh, degrade the image at all. It keeps all of its qualities. It's just changing the color of it uh, and uh, it's non-destructive. So then you can change it anytime you want. Um, a lot of times once I have it how I want it, I'll just group those layers together. That way it's one piece. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a great way to change the colors of backgrounds when you're using grunge or any kind of a background. It works really good. We, we use it a lot when we're doing signs because we're, we'll use you know this kind of a foggy background for one company, we'll wanna use it for another company, but we'll wanna change the color of it to make it different. So anyway, luminosity is a great tool in the blending mode. There's all kinds of blending modes. They do all different stuff, uh, but luminosity works really well to take a picture or take a background, turn it grayscale, and then use the whatever swatch you have on the shape below it uh, to colorize it. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, so you can be notified when we have new videos like this up. Uh, also, if you are in need of any kind of signs, hit us up. Wild Signs is a great sign company with great prices and we have all kinds of products and uh, all kinds of capabilities. So if you're ever in need of any kind of signage, hit us up. Thanks.